Investors continuing to monitor tensions between Russia and Ukraine and at the same time the impact across assets, particularly in the energy markets. Let's get straight back out to our Hatley Gamble, who is live in Cairo in Egypt with more on the policy reaction that we could potentially see. Hi again, Hadley. Hey, good morning, Dan. That's absolutely right. When I spoke with energy ministers here on the sidelines of the Egypt's conference, they were essentially saying to me that oil could top $100 a barrel, absolutely, but they used words like fearful and scary. I also asked the UAE's energy minister specifically about OPEC+. Plus. Is there a plan in the event of an invasion into Ukraine? Listen in. I don't think we need to escalate more than what is said. And, and, and what I think what we hear is that there is no intention for invasion. And that, I think, is, is, uh, is comforting. So we need to take the good news, promote the good news, rather than trying to escalate it and go to an extreme and predict like it's going to happen. Uh, so I would... Uh, I would be on that camp that is not seeing that happening and that's seeing that uh, negotiations uh, between, between Europe and Russia is going to, uh, to hopefully prevail uh, to diplomatic uh, negotiations and hopefully we'll see a de-escalation and then we can focus on what we can do, which is the fundamentals. But is there a plan? Sorry? Does OPEC Plus have a plan? Well, uh, OPEC Plus is part of, uh, of, the, of the group of producers uh, in the world. I don't think anyone can substitute uh, a, 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 a prominent and, a, and, and, and a, a large member of the group. It's enough that we are fighting the, uh, the decline in production due to lack of investments in many countries. So I think coming to uh, to this conference, uh, we are discussing new investments. We are discussing promotion of the new investments. That's what can keep the, the, the prices uh, or the supply and demand balance. I am worried, uh, and I've been saying uh, this for more than two years now, that I am worried that we are not investing and we're not promoting the investment in the oil and gas through, uh, through uh, lack of uh, financial uh, assistance or, or, or uh, acting or, or going back to the normals where the financial institutions are helping the, the countries to, uh, to extract their resources and put them in the market. If that does not continue with the natural decline, I think we're going to have an issue.